What's going on folks? Welcome back to the Water's Edge. I'm out on the boat today with dad. We are out on the West River and we are going to be targeting Middle Chesapeake Bay Red Drum. We've had a good push of puppy drum into the Middle Bay over the past month. We're in mid-August right now. So they're hanging out at inshore structures, docks, rock jetties, any type of structure they can get around. So we just anchored up. We're going to be pitching soft crab up to some docks and to some rock jetties. We've had some fish this week in the uh, in the slot that have been in the 22 to 24 inch range. All right, guys, we got a beautiful middle Chesapeake Bay slot red. This is a 22 inch fish, which falls inside the slot. These guys are all over the middle bay right now. You can find them in the rivers, on docks, any type of structure, these guys are prowling around. So get out there and target them. So we're gonna see if we can replicate what we've done earlier this week, but this time we're bringing you guys along for the adventure. We're gonna get some baits in the water and hopefully be hooked up soon. Stay tuned. So I've got a fish finder rig rigged up on my rod here with a one ounce weight. The current is not moving that hard right now. So one ounce should hold bottom. We're in about five foot. So I've got my braided main line down to a uh, little swivel. I've got my snap weight here down to 25 pound fluorocarbon leader and just a small circle hook. So we're gonna get some peeler crab cut up, toss it out and see if we can get a bite. Yeah. Soft crabs, I mean. All right, so we got some soft crab. Picked it up at Tyler's Bait and Tackle Shop. They're still alive. Yep. I'm gonna throw the claws out first. Yep. I'll try one claw to start, and if there's a red, it should get hit pretty quickly. I think it will. See if we can get a red on this dock. Oh, oh, something hit me hard. It's a circle hook. A rock jetty comes out pretty far. Damn. Damn. Can't get this circle hook down. I'm on. Doesn't feel big. Maybe it's better than I thought. Head shake or perch? I don't know. A little drum. Okay. And now you're gonna flip him. I'm gonna flip him. <clears throat> yeah. A little chunky guy. All right. That's about a, I don't know, 14 inch red to start. Target species, but just not the right size. Cast us close to that dock. Oh, you're gonna try that. <laughs> that was like, as soon as I got in there, um, it started hitting it. Another one. Huh? Feels like the same size, yeah. I feel like those bigger drum take off on you. Yeah, same size, puppy drum. Yeah, that one might be a little better. That'll at least weed out the spot and croaker and perch that might be picking you. Yeah. Something's hitting me again. Now with this circle hook, you don't want to set the hook, you just want to... Yep. 
get them. Yeah. You just want to reel down on them. Feels like it's about the same size. It just makes you wonder how many are in the shallows, you know? This one might be a little better, Dad. Uh, it's weird. He's just like, when he's fighting, he feels a little bigger, then he'll, then he'll run at me. He's just coming up. Yeah. He's probably about the same size, yeah. Little one. He just fights hard for his size. <laughs> Another one. They're pretty fish. Little pup. It's three. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna cast like up to the dock. I haven't done that yet. I wonder if Brady and them have caught anything. Probably get at least two, maybe three baits out of that one, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Okay. He's feels like a good fish. He definitely picked me right there. I felt like a good one. <laughs> it's instant with the reds. It's instant. I guess I saw the rope hanging off. All right, here's my slot red right here. Look, he's already on it. Brady's calling me. He's already on it. Hello? Hey, have y'all started fishing yet? Yeah. Have you caught anything? Yeah, three small ones. Three small reds? Yeah, about to be four. I'm hooked up again. Uh, we've hit three spots and only caught. I just came to the rock jetty because we, we tried. Uh, good yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we also catch them on dock or what? Uh, we've only, we anchored up and we're only, I'm clipping a fish right now, we've only fished the first dock at the mouth of the river. Okay. And right, well, I'm laid down. I just caught my biggest one, which is, how big is this fish? He's like a 14 and a half. There, we've caught one small fish. Little pup. Okay, I've caught four fish right off this dock in here on peeler crab. We have five, or sorry, on soft crab. We've got four or five more soft crabs and one peeler, but we've got a bunch of live minnows. I'm gonna toss that up and see if that gets hit. Say after a few more minutes, maybe bounce around to some other spots. We can always come back here. Line, you want to hit? Uh, I would say maybe try see that where those pilings come off. Yep. That's some good underwater structure. Back around there, I forgot that there is like it's going to be super low in there, but the reds don't really care about that. Yeah. There's some structure in there, and then I'd say go down towards those docks that I perch fish. My minnow's dead. Let me get a live one. Beat up. Yeah. I think he was halfway down one's throat. Yeah, he's trying to get him. Tied <laughs> might. Feel like my jig hand has gotten pushed out that time. Maybe tied. Am I gonna get hit instantly again? Probably will. Yep. There's more fish in here. Now, I, we need a freaking high tide. 
with a good a good outgoing current on a high tide. Yep. There'd probably be rockfish and reds in here. Right. It's probably gonna get hit pretty quick. There he is. I think he's about the same size, like cookie cutter tool, the other ones. But they're stacked in there, that's for sure. That way you can get a little closer. Yeah, small drum, little guy. There's so many of them in the shallows. That's what's crazy. Well, there's got to be a slot hanging around in there. I would think so. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Damn. There he is. I think it's another smallie. Might need to. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What do you know? Another small drum. <laughs> There's so many of them. That's crazy. Little drum. Well, we couldn't find our slot red drum, but we did find a bunch of underslot drum, which is a good sign because these fish should grow quickly. And over the past couple years, there have been more and more red drum pushing further north into the bay. The past two years have been really good for puppy drum in the shallows. And this year we've actually seen quite a few slot drum around. Just couldn't find any on this trip, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you all are getting out and enjoying the last few days of summer. There's still plenty of time to get out and catch these reds. They're gonna be hanging around well through September and probably for the most part of October. So make sure to get out and get on them. They're as far north as the Patapsco River right now, and you can catch them in all of the Middle Bay Tidal Rivers, all of the Lower Bay Tidal Rivers. They are all over the place. So get out and fish for them. Make sure to tune in for the next episode of The Water's Edge.